Hello, my name is Iron, and this is Iron's Tech. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be having a look at an upgrade. Um, I have been using these little earbuds, I suppose they are, uh, that I got from a shop called Three Coin in Japan, and they are basically replicas of the AirPods 3. Uh, and I've been using these for a bit. They're, they're okay. I've been quite enjoying walking around with them. I use them when I'm walking outside or if I'm at work, at home, anywhere really where there's not loads and loads of background noise. These do a pretty good job. Um, they do not have the rubber ear tips on them, so they do not block anything coming into your ears whatsoever. Um, the you know, I've, I've been enjoying them, but the issue is they're really trebly. This sounds very, very top-endy. There's no bass at all, um, a little bit sibilant. And after a bit, my ears get a bit tired of listening to this because it's, it's just so treble, treble, treble all the time. Um, so I decided to go for an upgrade. So I have gone and purchased the proper version of these, which is this. So this is the AirPods third generation. They're not the pros, just the standard AirPods. Um, disclaimer, I have already opened these and given them a try. Um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like taking them out of the box. So this is the box you get. Little picture of the ear pods on the front. You've got some information on the back. I bought the ones with the MagSafe charging case. Um, you can also charge them by lightning as well. And um, you can do both with this case. There is an option when you purchase these to, to get the MagSafe charging case or just the normal standard lightning case. Um, in Japan, where I got these from, the lightning case is slightly cheaper. And I do believe that's the case everywhere but it's not much at all it's really a small difference and i think it's worth it just for the magsafe case um so when you open the box there will actually are two strips you peel off one here and one here as i said i've done that already um, and when you open it up designed by apple in california and these are your documents you've got some nothing else in that little how to use booklet Warranty booklet, some other bits and bobs, I think there's a more warranties, regulation compliances. Okay, um, I'll put those back. There we are, okay. And then you have the AirPods themselves, which are in this little, it's like a papery wrapping. I'm gonna put those to the side for a moment. Uh, also underneath here, you have a cable. So if you don't have a MagSafe Charger, you can use this, which is just a just your standard. What we got? It's USB C to Lightning. I'm going to leave this in the box. I have a lot of these cables already, so I, I don't need to use that quite yet. So I'll I'll put that back. Okay, let's put this to the side and bring the AirPods back. So the AirPods, when you get them, come in this little like plasticky, papery packet. I've already removed these. I've already taken these off, but I'll do it one more time. It's very nice, they come out very easily. And there we go. And you know, they look like AirPods. They're very well made. The case is very precise, strong. It's got this little metal hinge on the back there. There's a button if you want to connect it to anything not Apple. Um, for Apple products, I, I've already connected these to everything in my kind of Apple ecosystem. So they connect to my phone straight away. I had no problems with any of that. Um, I can use them on my computer, on my iPad, that they, they just jump from device to device. It's actually really clever how it works. I don't even have to click a button, it just automatically switches to whichever device I'm using, whichever one happens to be turned on. It's very convenient. Um, so yeah, this button is if you want to connect it to an Android device or Windows PC. Uh, that's the lightning charger there. Um, again, there's magnets in the four corners so you can place it onto a, a MagSafe charger and it will just kind of snap into place and charge up. The light on the front um, is the indicator of if the, the pods themselves are charged up. So if I do this, if these are charged, this light will be green. And I've only had these for about a day. Um, and so far the battery life has been reasonable. Um, it, it has nothing on, say, I've got my the Wave Pro headphones I've purchased very recently. Um, 
The battery life on those is ridiculous. It's it's very, very long. These, they'll do okay. I mean, I think each bud could advertise six hours and the case has got about an extra 30 that it can provide. Uh, I found it to be a little, little less than that, I think, in using these for a couple of days. Um, it's still good, but I think each bud, I, it's been a bit closer to maybe four to five hours. Um, so still reasonable, you know. Um, but again, this is very well made. They're very sturdy, solid. Um, the earbuds themselves, they're very good. They look remarkably similar to the ones from 3Coin, which I have here. Very, very similar size, similar shape. Um, obviously the, the Apple ones have more microphones, better quality microphones. They, they feel a, li a little, little tiny bit heavier. And they're better made. And uh, I have tried these out and these sound so much better. As you would expect from something that costs considerably more, they sound so, so much better. They have much, much more noticeable bass, surprising bass actually considering they don't seal in your ear um the the base is is very surprising on these they're very well made um the seam is is perfect there really um yeah as you would expect from an apple product or something that costs this much um they're very well made very well put together very good quality even just the way this snapshot is very satisfying click. It's, yeah, very good first impressions. Uh, after a day of using them, very happy. Again, as with the three coin earbuds, you're not really gonna wanna use these on a noisy train or a noisy bus. Um, they let all of the sound in as they do not seal your ear canal. For, for you know, a noisy thing, you want some noise canceling headphones. I have my, the Wave Pros I'm gonna be using now for a while for that. I also have the Sony's uh, WHCH720Ns that I've been using for a while too. Um, so, it, you know, if I want to block out noise, I can use something for that drop. This I'm going to be using at home, at work, when walking outside. Um, I am yet to try the spatial audio. I do not know what that's like yet. Um, sounds quite fun. Could be a bit gimmicky. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, first impressions, these are, these are very nice, very well made. And after a quick listen, they sound very good as well. I'm very impressed with the sound. I'll need to look a bit more into the EQs and what I can do if I'm able to change that at all. Um, but out of the, the charging case, they, they already sound really nice. Um, very clear with surprising bass. Um, so yeah, that's my really quick unboxing and first thoughts on the Apple AirPods 3 third generation. Um, so again, I am Iron, this is Iron's Tech, and thank you for watching.